What's up, guys? This is Rise. It is a new season of the Go Battle League, and we're starting off with a bang. Semi, a former number one GBL leaderboarder, multiple times now. He just hit it like last week. He's back, and he has submitted us some Shadow Typhlosion action with the new move Thunder Punch. He's surrounding it with Azumarill and Gudra. So, some decent water coverage around the Typhlosion. And I am intrigued to see how this thing performs. We're starting off with the Azuma roll here. Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, the moveset he's going for. Sometimes people like to opt for play rough. I think it really just depends on your team comp. I think Azu is one of those Pokemon where whether you're doing Ice Beam, play rough, Ice Beam, Hydro, or play rough, Hydro, all three movesets can be viable because those are all solid charge moves. And also, Azu, very bulky, able to withstand enough damage to get to those moves or those attacks, I should say within the battle. Azumarill looking cute as ever, looking happy. Mantine fighting back in this neutral matchup battle of the water types, and Semi seems content just playing out the zero shield here. Now going to pivot into Gudra and lures out Annihilate, so not necessarily a hard check to the Gudra. Goes in with a neutral matchup the opponent does. Gudra going to fire off the Aqua Tail, grabs that first protect shield from the opponent. Annihilate now firing off a move itself, and it's going to be a Night Slash, so that's not going to do too much. Gudra trying to pace to another Aqua Tail and does get there before another move comes from the Annihilate. Lands the Aqua Tail, and Annihilate felt forced to throw. Not sure if they could have got the counter down first. Would have been close. And now you get a little bit of a head start with Typhlosion. You're up a shield, and it is so fast to pace to the Thunder Punch, but I don't think you bother going for a Thunder Punch here. That could be like a lose condition. So just going straight for the Blast Burn. That Community Day move, so powerful, gets that shield. And you are one off the next one. Um, over farms, and I kind of like it, because assuming they're running Stone Edge, you know Cloud Tire cannot double up. They are running Sludge Bomb, so they could theoretically double up, since that's 50 energy. But then you just throw this instantly. Bang, get out of here, Claude. And that Mantine, very low, does get off a move, but you simply shield, get the Incinerate damage to go through. And that is a G to the G. Nice job. Starting things off. Shadow Typhlosion. Such a fun Pokemon. That was the thing that stood out to me most when they announced the new updates this season. Um, we all kind of speculated it was going to be relatively minimal in terms of impacting the meta. Because they don't want to totally change the meta right before NAIC and then Worlds in a few months. So, it's like, it's man, Worlds is coming up soon. It's like six weeks? No. Not quite. It's longer than that. It's like, oh, it's like two and a half months, yeah. Because it's June now, so you got all of June, all of July, then it's August. So it's like two and a half months rather than one and a half months. Azu into Pelipper. Pelipper now might be seeing a little bit more play because of the nerf to Lantern. So Lantern's going to be less common, at least we presume so. I saw some friends saying they're still seeing Lantern everywhere. Because um, the other part of it, right, is Lantern gets nerfed. So now Spark does less damage. However... Do people now disrespect Lantern? So is Lantern still good because of its typing? Uh, if people are disrespecting it, I don't know. Like this team in particular, right? <laughs> like this team from Semi is pretty weak to a Lantern lead. But we see Lucario enter the battlefield. Uh-oh, dude. Lucario not going to appreciate this incinerate damage. Oh my gosh, three incinerates all it took. How many incinerates to knock out a Lucario? Three, apparently. G to the G. Next opponent. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Azumir. But this is where you want to see the Azu. You don't have play roughs. So this is where it kind of hurts you. Also, Semi, maybe like top three most swag in the community. Very cool guy. But I got to say, we got in a little bit of a scuffle today in Discord because I was excited about Eminem dropping Houdini. Listen to it if you haven't. It's very catchy. It's uh, kind of like without me, that same type of uh, tune, but kind of like remixed. Amazing music video. I loved it, and I was talking about it, and Semi calls me an old head, saying I still listen to Eminem. Bro, Semi, you gotta put some respect on M's name, dude. Best rapper of all time, lyrical technician, electrician, that's light work. Yeah, I said it. Okay, back to action. Azu versus Azu. Um, despite not having play rough, this Azu put in some work. Play rough. Knocks out. Now you go for the farm down. Opposing Azu will get off a move. That's tough. Just going to sack the Gudra. Just going to put it on Typhlosion. 
And right, you kind of are hoping that once Azu is out of the way, they're not going to have another answer to the Typhlosion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, this is where Thunder Punch is so nice because you get there so quick. So you outpace. It's only 10 turns to every Thunder Punch versus it's 12, 12, 11 for uh, Body Slam. So, oh my gosh, this is so... Oh, the opponent letting a sneak opponent. You got to time that a little bit better, bruv. Going for the Blast Burn, interesting. I guess wants to guarantee the knockout or the shield. Blast Burn knocks out. What a call. Semi is popping off here. And now the Incinerates do so much by themselves. You really just need to go for Thunder Punch here. It makes sense. Oh my gosh, that does a lot. Two Incinerates. Gonna knock out. Yo. Yo, yo. That's the super fun thing about running Glass Cannon Pokemon like Typhlosion. Where you could be in a bad looking situation, but you save shields. And suddenly, you find yourself winning the game. That's the same thing with Shadow Magnezone in my opinion. Like... You might be in a bad looking spot, but you just save two shields from Magazone. And if they don't have fast move pressure in the back, they are done for. Also, side note, I flew back home today. Um, I'm sure some of you guys, I, I got some messages like wondering if I was okay because I hadn't posted in a while. So I was able to win the LA regional, um, which was awesome. And we'll get to a recap of that. And then... Uh, I went home from one of my childhood friends' weddings, and I got to see like some friends from high school, and then I went and saw my family back in Wisconsin. So, um, yeah, didn't wasn't able to like post a bunch of videos ahead of time in in uh, ahead of knowing that I would be gone. So that's on me. But it was a nice little break, and I really uh, enjoyed both weekends seeing all sorts of people that. I haven't seen a while. People I care about. So it's pretty cool. And we're back now. We are back now. Um, I got this shirt. And I got two compliments on it at the airport. So if anyone in the comments wants to compliment my shirt. I wouldn't mind it per se. Azu. Going for the Ice Beam here against Skarm. And uh, knocks out Skarm. Now you got Gudra versus Dean Air. Battle of the Dragon Breath users. Gudra a little bit bulkier than Dinair. And uh, Dinair's going to get off a body slam. The Skarm's super low, right? So I think you just throw the Aqua Tail right away if you get there. Oh, wow. That's crazy. It looked like the Dragon Breaths from the Dinair outpaced the damage of the Gudra. Because it looked like they were around the same health. So that was, uh, hmm. was kind of crazy. Azu into a Shiny Man team. Very cool. I like the shiny mantine. I like that royal blue. Let me know what your favorite color is in the comments. My favorite color has always been like a royal blue. Aerial lace, not doing too much, but because mantine resists the bubbles and it's bulky, it does fairly well in this matchup. I think we saw it beat the Azumarill earlier. And uh, not having play rough might be a little bit worse for Azu here because maybe you can two shot with play rough plus the bubble damage but it looks like you're not going to be able to two shot with ice beam plus the bubble damage they're going to get to multiple more aerial aces ice beam connects Mr. Mantine farming up a ton probably has two aerial aces at this point I haven't really been counting but I'm just assuming they have two aerial aces and uh, that is the case aerial ace going to knock out Azu but now do we see the incinerate down the incinerate down one incinerate. A little bit of a head start. What comes in? They've already gotten rid of a water type. They have another answer to tie. They're thinking, okay, neutral. And dude, this is where Thunder Punch is so nice. It's so fast. You're already putting on the pressure. And now that they took it. Oh, wow. They're staying in. I think they're only going to get to one move. So they might as well go for Shadow Ball, it seems like. And now you got a two on one fast break. They do bait the Night Slash. Toxapex comes in. What? Oh, wait. I guess with Thunder Punch, they knew. So maybe they didn't want to eat the Thunder Punches. That's crazy. Wow, type. Oh, a Shiny Toxapex. How cool is that? This opponent has some swag. They're trying to out-swag Semi. Aqua Tail. Yikes. It's a tough one to shield. That would have done, like, nothing. Toxapex building up. Do you just put all on tie here? They go for the Brine. Doesn't even knock out. Gets to the Aqua Tail. This makes it... Even though this doesn't do much, it puts it into more manageable farm downrange. 
One incinerate? Okay, they get off a of Brian. You have to shield. Ape is really low, but are they within one of Night Slash? They're not. And that is a G to the G. Notice how Semi just commits to the uh, one incinerate there. No reason to throw the Thunder Punch since they still had a Protect Shield. Very well played as per usual. 5-0 set from Mr. Semi. Gets a Squovit for his trouble. Squovit just chilling in the forest. All right, here we go. Next opponent, Azu into d Knight. Great lead. They'll probably dip out of here into something. Goes into Annihilate. I don't... Huh, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, can Annihilate flip this? Maybe Semi is just an absolute beast and just knows he can win this even shield or something. Well, now it's a little awkward. Because now you're going to go down a shield. I was thinking you to stay in against the... Uh, I was thinking you to stay in against the Annihilate with your Azumarill. Because then if you just win that matchup and get Gudra with Dragonite, that seems pretty decent. You're bulkier. Aqua Tail coming through. Does grab both shields, so that's pretty nice. Oh, that's actually really nice. Because now you just eat a move on Azu, and you have a shield advantage for Ty, and there's no way in Kanto that Dragonite can live a Blast Burn. Honestly, it probably can barely live a Thunder Punch. Oh, gosh. This is not good. This is not good for the... <laughs> I think Thunder Punch might have been enough here, but I don't know, personally. Thunder Punch is a kind of weak move, so maybe not. Blast Burn playing it safe will definitely knock out, and then uh, goes for another Blast Burn here. Oh, my gosh, dude. Typhlosion, calm down, bro. You're cooking. If you can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Typhlosion is the head chef right now. Semi... Take on another opponent. Okay, Wiggly, tough. Um, you just stay in, right? I probably would expect Semi to not use any shields here. Because Wiggly can win this matchup if it wants to expend some shields. And then probably just going to be willing to let Azu go. Lands the Hydra, that's pretty nice. Could even consider like a catch on the Typhlosion. But that, now that you landed the Hydra Pump, you look, it looks like you just win the Zero Shield straight up. So that's pretty nasty. Might get to another Hydro Pump here, depending on what comes in. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I would consider just pivoting the Gudra here to not give them another Incinerate. Yeah, exactly. Semi, an absolute mastermind. Going to eat a move here. It's a Flame Charge. Wow, okay. That's really nice. Gets off the Aqua Tail right before the next Charge Attack. This will likely force the final Shield from the opponent. And they bank the energy. They come in with Crocolore. Whoa. Weird team. Wigglytuff double incinerate? What is going on? Imagine like the Toxapex. That'd be... That'd be GG instantly. <laughs> um, or like a Tentacruel. Crunch knocks out. Gonna save shields for Ty Guy. We'll use a shield here. There's only one incinerate away from the Talon. Talon just got to a second move, so they will be able to throw their move right here if they want. But, oh, I already forgot. I already forgot Thunder Punch is only two. Insane. Already has it loaded. GG. Typhlosion is nasty, bro. Azumarill into Quagsire. Opponent has a Snorlax onesie, I believe. Very comfortable looking. Let's see if it translates into their gameplay. Quag into Azu. Bopping around. What song do you think Azu is listening to right now? Like, look at Azu just wobbling back and forth. What song do we think Azu is listening to? I'm not sure. Hydro nearly knocks out, but Quag does get to another move. Is this another Stone Edge? I wasn't counting. Yep. But look at that. Azu able to withstand two Stone Edges. Oh my gosh. Low kicks. Okay. GG. That just got counter, right? Someone... Someone messaged me like they want to see uh, someone submit low kicks with counter. So if anyone wants to submit me that video, feel free. That'd be pretty cool. All right, Dinair, Um, Great matchup for Azu. However, we do know that Dinair can like dance around because there's no fast attack pressure, right? It's only the charge attack pressure. So they build up some energy. They go into Vigoroth, potentially trying to catch. Semi didn't fall for it. Going to go for the Hydro Pump. I like this play because you guarantee a shield or massive damage. Boom, look at that. And now it's a comfortable Dragon Breath down. You can eat one Body Slam, no problem. Opponent might have gotten to a Rock Slide. 
No, they just went for Body Slam. Dean Air comes back. Just going to chip with the Aqua Tail. And these Dragon Breaths are going to be really valuable because, yeah, you're going to put it to a range where Azu can now bubble down, take a couple Body Slams. Two Body Slams will come close to knocking out, though. But I think we're just going to see Semi save the shields for Typhlosion no matter what. Stick to the game plan, man. Body Slam connects. Oh, baby. And notice how he's just throwing the Ice Beam as soon as he can to get out of here. And if they take this, which they do now, the incinerates are just going to be so nasty. Um, opponent could have, like, maybe had some play there. They If they threw after two or even after one, they could have potentially... Yeah, if they threw after one, I think they would have gotten to the next move. So maybe would have given themselves a chance, but Semi probably had that no matter what. Azu into Shadow Whiskash. I would say positive for Azu. However, Whiskash does win the ones and the twos, if I'm not mistaken. But, like, Azu just, uh, you can go straight Ice Beam pretty much here and two shot it. Or we could see Semi go for the big Hydro Pump. They might not expect it. And this makes a lot of sense. Normally, Azu, you don't see running Hydro Pump, but with a Typhlosion, to, oh my gosh, to guarantee the massive damage or the shield advantage seems really smart. Maybe I'll copy Semi's team on stream. <laughs> I don't I don't think I have a Shadow Typhlosion for Great League, though. I think I only have regular Typhlosion. Dang, that's disappointing. Mud Bomb connects. Only going to reach an Ice Beam here. So if the opponent knows that, they don't really need to use a shield. Going to let Azu go down. Coming with Typhlosion, I would presume. And in comes Gligar. Going to just... Whoa, okay. That was like frame drops. It looked like he tried to throw instantly, but it didn't let him. But luckily, he gets it off before Gligar gets off a move. And now you just completely sacrifice your Gudra. No reason to protect shield here. You know there's a Skarmory waiting in the back. You just save those shields for Mr. Typhlosion. You don't care if Gudra goes down. Gudra is just soaking up energy here, soaking up damage. Gonna throw the Aqua Tail right before going down and... I don't know what the opponent does. I guess you have to shield. <laughs> yeah, you have to shield to get off a move here. But they don't even get off a move. And uh, that's a GG. Semi with some spectacular plays as per usual. Sorry, my um, AirPods are charging. If you heard like some dinging throughout the video. Um, I think uh, they're like having... Th my AirPods have kind of broke. It's really sad. AirPod Pros. Anybody know how to fix them? Let me know. Anyway, shout out to Semi. Awesome uh, submission with Shadow Type Flosion with the new move Thunder Punch added to its move pool. Um, really cool stuff and a good showcase of how dangerous it can be just going straight Blast Burn as well as how quick it can get to those Thunder Punches and make what used to be pretty bad matchups more favorable matchups, whether that could be something like a Toxapex or an Azumarill or even in neutral matchups, simply the ability to get to a move quicker is always really nice. So... All that said, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Comment down below. All comments are appreciated. And all that said, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.